British Airways decided to do was to start a new fleet on um, massively reduced terms and conditions and well under half the pay. Your average cabin crew member on mixed fleet, the starting salary was £11,000. It's now gone to just over £12,000, which is just not enough for cabin crew to be able to afford to live. Every time that they're on an aircraft, they get £3 an hour and crew rely on that subsidy to supplement their income. Most crew are surviving on just over £1,000 a month, and so we're looking at an average total we've calculated about £16,000 to £17,000 a year. We've just done a questionnaire of mixed fit cabin crew. 49% of crew said that they have had to take on second jobs which is particularly important when you consider flight time limitations. If crew are working, um, their rest days should be for resting because they have a critical safety function on an aircraft. Now if you imagine they're flying to Santiago, uh, it's 16 hour duty, they have one night and they come back and then they've got another job somewhere else because they're so desperate to be able to earn a living wage. Two thirds of crew admitted that they come into work when they're actually sick because they can't afford to pay the bills if they don't. They've got a real harsh absence management um, policy that means they could lose their job very soon if they have a, a various amounts of sickness um, and also because they can't afford to because they lose money. Staggeringly 89% of crews said that they suffered from stress and depression due to money concerns because the wages are so low. When you factor that in with the fatigue that the cabin crew are feeling, um, I know crew that have fallen asleep on the aircraft when they're taking off Again, critical safety function, the rosters are just terrible and everyone's exhausted. And we've recently heard stories of cabin crew sleeping in their car between duties overnight because they can't afford the petrol to, to drive back home. Most crew don't tend to live in the London area because they can't afford the bills. One of the things I found quite shocking, I found out, was that 30% of all mixed fleet staff and cabin crew have worked for the company less than a year. Now, if you think with planes, you know, they've gone through their safety training, but literally, you on a job, you, it normally takes a year to learn a job fully, you know. And the reason why there's 30% in a year because the turnover rate so much because people burn out. For an airline whose CEO earns 8.8 .8 million pounds, that's 666 times what a mixed fleet crew member earns. More than a thousand percent has gone up, and that's not including the bonus and the extra additions that he gets as part of his role. British Airways are in record profits of 1.4 billion pounds, so there's absolutely no excuse for continuing to exploit and mixed fleet crew members in this way. When I first came in uh, five years ago, there was uh, only 174 members of Unite. There's now currently getting up to about 2,600, you know, and we've got recognition agreement, and the company know they have to take us seriously because of the density that we currently have, and that is growing. Every year they uh, increase the profit margin, and unfortunately that tends to fall on the shoulders of mixed fleet cabin crew, and that's just not fair, and enough is enough. The workers united will never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated.